Life's Journey. My name is Monsignor Frank Chido from St. Anthony's Parish in Des Moines, Iowa. We are about to celebrate the national observance of Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is very much at the heart of the Christian life. We read in Psalm 145, Let all your works give you thanks, O God, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Giving thanks is very much at the heart of who we are as Christians, and yet Someone once said there are two kinds of Christians, a thanksgiver and a thanks-taker. A thanks-taker is one who's always looking for applause and praise and gratitude from other people, and when they don't get it, they're very angry. A thanks-taker. And yet, as Christians, we're called to be thanks-givers, and that is to orient our hearts and our lives towards the God who is the giver of all good gifts. Where would we be without an all-loving and merciful God? We so often take for granted the many blessings we receive, and so in turn we're a thanks taker. Every breath we take is a gift. When was the last time we thought about it that way? Every moment, every second that we have on this earth is a blessing and a gift. Every person that crosses our path, even those we do not know, in some mysterious way is a blessing and a gift, and they cross our path, not by accident, but by divine providence. And so a thanksgiver is one who sees the world in terms of the sunlight of God radiating his sun on everything and everyone. Thanks taker is one who's usually uh, traveling through, through life under a cloud of sorrow, uh, bitterness, uh, negativism, sarcasm, cynicism. Am I a thanksgiver or a thanks taker? We have many blessings, and the old hymn puts it well. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Seeing what God has done brings us to our knees. And to be brought to our knees is to look up to a God who loves us beyond all measure. We thank Him. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Be a thanksgiver, not a thanks taker. Thank